Car dealer goes to prison. Defrauds Toyota out of $4.3 million. The charges include wire fraud, mail fraud, aggravated identity theft, and conspiring to commit money laundering. Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth with wavy hair today, I might have met. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sure there are plenty of you who can think of many other dealers who ought to be joining these clowns in jail. Am I right, Liz? Yeah, no doubt. We all know a dealer or two that needs to spend some time behind bars. James Pinson, a former dealership owner, was sentenced to six years in a federal prison on March 3rd after being found guilty of defrauding Toyota out of more than $4.3 million. James Pinson owned Big Blue Motor Sales, a used vehicle dealership in Lewis, Kentucky. James Pinson, 46, was convicted in December of three counts of wire fraud, six counts of mail fraud, one count of aggravated identity theft, and two counts of conspiring to commit money laundering. I don't think I've ever heard of aggravated identity theft, but anyway. I think somebody who had their identity stolen would be pretty aggravated. Yeah. <laughs> Court documents said Pinson took advantage of a Toyota customer support program that, that bought back trucks with excessive rust from the customers for 150% of the Kelly Blue Book value. The program was only available to customers and not dealerships. So how did this dealer get his hand in the cookie jar when he was not a Toyota customer? Court documents state that between 2013 and 2015, Pinson bought 350 trucks at wholesale price at auction. He obtained copies of random residents' driver's licenses and titled the vehicles in their names. And of course, made sure all those trucks were rusty. Yeah. Remember when we've warned you guys about leaving copies of your driver's license and other personal information at a car dealer? The unscrupulous ones keep the information and pull underhanded tricks like this one with it. James Pinson was smitten with Reed. He took 350 trucks to Love Lexus Toyota in West Virginia and bribed the service manager and another employee in order to take advantage of this program, court documents said. 350 trucks, I'm sure he scattered them out over a period of time. Of course, he needed help on the inside and he got it from Love Lexus Toyota service manager Frank Russo, 69. Frank was also sentenced the same day for two years in federal prison for wire fraud. Stanley Clark, who administered repurchases at Love Lexus Toyota, was sentenced to 15 months in prison last week, according to a press release from the Southern District of West Virginia U.S. Attorney's Office. Both Russo and Pinson will be required to pay restitution of up to $4.3 million to Toyota, the press release said. Pinson used the money he made through the scheme to purchase a beach house in South Carolina, which he will also be required to give up. James Pinson faces up to 22 years in prison, plus a mandatory two-year sentence resulting from his aggravated identity theft conviction when he was sentenced on March 3, 2022. Well, Mr. Pinson gets to trade in the flip-flops he had planned for his beach house for soap on a rope in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop your soap, Mr. Pinson. You're liable to get the same treatment you likely gave to a bunch of your car customers. You don't sound like you feel sorry for this guy, Kevin. Nope, I sure don't. Dirty dogs like this one weren't content with just fleecing his customers. The ratings for his dealership were just 2.9 on Facebook and 3.5 on Google. Ouch. He was ticking off a lot of people, but he had to find bigger fish to fry and ended up snagging his bobber in a legal problem. <laughs> I want to take this somber moment to express heartfelt appreciation to those of you who have donated or asked how you can contribute to my medical expenses, as you might have guessed, my household is swimming in medical expenses after months of hospitalization and recovering from double pneumonia. For your convenience, our staff has put the PayPal and Cash App links in the description box down below. And thanks to all of you. As you can see, Kevin's sense of humor hasn't suffered a bit. No. <laughs> and right now, 100% of donations from viewers are going towards Kevin's ongoing medical expenses. All right. If you appreciate our video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up. And please, always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends. Comments really matter because they help boost our online visibility and lead others to great homework guy content. And on this video, if you encountered a dealer who needs to join James Pinson and Frank Russo in prison, Leave their names in the comments section below with a brief explanation of their misdeeds. Ooh. Well, the entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.